Manchester United's 2022-23 pre-season campaign has come to a disappointing end as they drew 1-1 at home to Rio Baiacano on Eric Ten Hag's Old Trafford debut. Cristiano Ronaldo's return and Ten Hag's home bow were the big pre-game storylines for United but the former only lasted 45 minutes and the latter was left frustrated at full time. Ronaldo's replacement Ahmad Diallo's edged the hosts in front just after the break before Rayo Salvaro Garcia poked the La Liga side level late on. Ten Hag was visibly annoyed at the final whistle as he gears up for their Premier League curtain raiser against Brighton on August 7. More, Cristiano Ronaldo latest transfer news and rumors Rusty Ronaldo remains unconvinced by United stay all eyes were on the returning Ronaldo ahead of kickoff with the United fans giving their number 7 a rousing reception at Old Trafford. His ongoing stance of wanting to leave the club in search of Champions League football remain unchanged and a low-key 45 minutes against trial has changed nothing. Ten Hag confirmed Ronaldo's lack of match fitness would make a full match almost impossible for the Portuguese veteran despite some flashes of quality before the break. He is certain to not feature against Brighton next weekend, and if his future is resolved in the coming weeks, his absence from pre-season could mean he is not up to full power until September. Eriksson shines on Old Trafford Bow Summer signing Eriksson has been eased into action by Ten Hag but he produced a typically assured performance in midfielder on his Old Trafford debut. The Dane provided a focal point for United to build within the attacking third as a genuine number 10 option linking between Donny van der Beek, Ronaldo, and Alejandro Garnacho. Ten Hag opted to withdraw him after 60 minutes but his ability to switch play to younger legs around him dictate United's tempo shows his ability to pick locks in the coming campaign. More questions than answers for Ten Hag on Old Trafford Bow Ten Hag has consistently looked to put his stamp on United during pre-season but their final two results have reopened major questions over his squad. Defeat in Oslo to Atletico and a tepid showing against Rio will leave the former Ajax boss facing some big calls in the coming weeks.